stand up? Do we have to stand up? <laughs> right then, that's us on the ferry. You'll remember Martin, the pirate. Hi, Martin. Hiya. Right, first, um, let me put this on. So come up, one, two, three. First issue, I'm trying out this, this light lock, sort of lock thing. I can't remember what it's called. Light lock core. I've had it for a few months, this. And I've used it for things like, you know, when I'm securing my bike at the airport, when I've been away with Toro and down across to Canaries. So I was using it for that. And then I've got a load of stuff in my back box here because that's where normally where I keep this. And I thought, ah, I'll, I'll be like a courier. I'll just whack it round the back of the bike. Unfortunately, what's happened is where the way that sits, and once my fat bomb gets on the bike and it pushes the, the rear shock down, what you'll be able to see here, can you see that? So obviously the tire has rubbed against it and it's worn all that away. But that will give you an idea as to what it looks like on the inside, like that. So anyway, I need to figure out where am I going to put this? How am I going to store this on the bike? So let's try and figure that out. Mr. Yorksell, any ideas? Uh, use it as a belt to push. Sadly, I don't think it's big enough. <laughs> that that genuinely is one thing, actually, I've found with this, folks, is that it's not actually, it's not something that you could put, like, through the front wheel and then attach it to, you know, like a barrier or something at a car park. It's not versatile enough for that. It's not big enough either. How would you use it? it? It's literally one of them that you would, you just put through the wheel, you know, to stop the wheel turning. So it's not like you can physically attach it to, you probably could to some things, but it's definitely not as versatile as a big chain. <laughs> what are you doing that for? <laughs> <laughs> but where would I, where would I put this on the bike to store it? Can it go up and sort of, That's can the, it bend like that? No. That's the thing, it's not, it's not flexible enough to like come up through here and round. That's the problem. Oh. Maybe I'd have to do one side. I think I could kind of get that through there. But even that's that's going to just sit down again. Yeah, it so it's not. That's right away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's bring it up here. I gotta connect. Was that how it was before? No, because I've, what I've done is I've put it through that on this side, so it's yeah. it's filled out a little bit more now because it's going around this. It's got enough girth. It's a little bit more girth there, so hopefully it's not going to sit down as low once I'm on the bike. So anyway, Martin, what's the plan today, pal? Uh, we're going to the Isle of Wight, simply because we were chatting, and on our Cali motos, there's no little blue bit on the Isle of Wight. <laughs> so. so we're going to sort that, and that's where we're going today. <laughs> we're actually going to go and do the uh, Isle of Wight TT, aren't we? Yes, apparently. The, the um, prospective course the road racing course that was put forward well we're going to go and do that little route but first of all we've got to get across the little bit of channel without being sick hopefully <laughs> right well that was um painless how long did that take ah uh, see look see this is what happens when you buy cheap martin's got climb gear there obviously and his zips just split <clears throat> i know my suit's gonna do that now isn't it my rucker painless crossing that I think it took half hour in total. I'm excited about this. Never done the Isle of Wight before. Swack that on. Sync them up. One, two, three. Now, if you haven't figured it out yet, folks, Martin's only got one leg. Did a very interesting podcast with him, actually, a year or two ago. So you can hear a story on that on the Brewtown podcast. I'll just wait for him to put his columns on. Oh, he's in. Hiya. Hey. Hiya. Hi. If you want, we can ride up to the fort and you can have a look at your drone bit whilst I stand around and visit. Yeah, okay, mate. Yeah, let's do that. Kill two birds with one stone. Let's do it. Oh, I'm excited. This feels like a holiday. Thank you very much. Good day. Hiya, pal. Cheers. Crash. And so, we're now on the Isle of Wight. Ooh. I'm popping my cherry today, folks, with Martin. <laughs> I'm an Isle of Wight virgin. Be gentle. I do not like those new indicators on the GS. See how bright those little tail lights are? Yeah, I don't I don't like that. The, the, the tail lights are too bright and they're not, they don't distinguish the indicators particularly well, especially when you're braking, yeah. Don't like that. 
I've got no idea if mine have that, to be honest. I don't think they do. Nah, uh, yours is too old. Isn't it? Are we doing a right here, yeah? All right. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> did you not see my indicator? No, no, I, could. I, I saw it come on. I did see it come on, but... You're under the assumption I know what I'm doing. <laughs> no, I've never thought that, mate. Ever. Yeah. Although, this 100% would not be happening if you hadn't taken full charge of everything. We we planned this about, what, a year ago? It was last year, it was the end of last year. End of last year, yeah. I think I actually did say right from the start, yeah, you're going to have to do it all because I won't, this won't happen if it's left to me. I've known you long enough <laughs> to realise that when you say yes, 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 yes. I'm up for it and it'll happen, but, you know... <laughs> People need to take me by the hand and just say, right, you're going here now. Ooh, where are we here? Uh, if you wanted to do the drone, you can go down there. Ah, oh, can you? And also, this is a possible cafe stop, but both of them are shut. This is this is part of the plan. Got you, cause... got you. Right, I've got a new drone. I'm going to go and test it out. Let's go and have a play. So, this is it. This is the new DJI Mavic Mini 3 Pro. Look at the size of it. I mean, that is ridiculous. I had the uh, Air 2 before. This makes that look huge. It's incredible, so light. Under 249 grams, or it is 249 grams. So uh, it basically, it falls into this magical little world of, hmm, no, you don't need to worry about it in terms of creditation and all these sort of things. There are still some, um, like, drone laws you need to abide by. You've got to keep it away from people, certain distance away from people, certain height above um, buildings, all that sort of jazz. But this is its maiden flight. Let's see how we do. Okay. Uh, it's quite windy. So we're all connected. Check complete. So, that is really quiet, wow. We'll put that into sport mode, and it's much quicker. Boom. I know, straight out <laughs> over the sea. Boom. Okay, now, what I want to try, to head over there, because round the corner here is the needles. Are we going to the needles? Yeah. Now, if I show you on here, folks, if we just pan around, so that's obviously Isla White there to your left, disappearing out the screen, and that is mainland UK. <laughs> For some reason, in my head, I thought it was going to be a little bit like uh, the channel, the Dover Straits or whatever, the Dover Channel. It's not. I thought there was like... 10 miles between the two. No, I mean, that, that is mainland UK right there that we can see. But anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring the drone in and uh, just fly down the coast a little bit here. So if we come up and just have a little look. We might be able to see the needles just over the, um, over the crest here. Now you can see right out there. That's the needles right there. Isn't it? That bit there? Yeah, it's the end of it, yeah, so the needles go. You might even be able to yeah. zoom in. Yeah, there, you can see it right there, bang, that's the needles. So we're going to head there in a bit, so don't worry about that, we will see it. Let me sync these up, one, two, three, there we go. Where have we just been? Uh, that was Fort something. Fort, Fort, Fort something. Fort Victoria, I think it was. Yeah, we, we literally didn't look at anything, we didn't do, <laughs> we did nothing, but I just put the drone up, obviously, I had a little play with we the drone. That's all you need, isn't it? Yeah, this is my sort of sightseeing. I like this. There's a calf there. Two calves. One two, was shut. Two calves. That's the XA North house there. Oh. Yeah. Eyes, <laughs> eyes front. Eyes front. So give us some interesting facts about the Isle of Wight, Martin. Was the Isle of Wight like a pirate sort of place back in the day? I don't, I don't, I don't know. Is that why you like it? <laughs> a natural draw. <laughs> For those not in the know, folks, Martin is known <laughs> as the pirate because he has one leg. And if you look on the back of his uh, back box here, can you see that on the back of the back box? It's That's his dirt, little logo. <laughs> Was that just like a tongue-in-cheek thing that you did? He's got a little peg leg, which is on the same side as my peg leg. It is cool. It's a cool little logo <laughs> thing to have. You've been on the podcast. You've been on Brew Time. 
Yeah, that's a long oh, time ago, Dan. Um, it is, mate. Yeah, that was early stages of um, lockdown that you came on. You were one of the first, yeah, I think. Yeah, a couple of years ago. So go on and what's the story? How come? How come you're minus a main digit? <laughs> um, so when I was 21. <gasps> hang on, hang on. Nationals. Nationals. Right. So when you were 21, it was on Boxing Day, and I had been my bike for ages. So I thought I'd pop round to see my mum and dad. Uh, so I got round there and they weren't here. And literally, just round the corner from my mum and dad's house on a straight bit of road, there was a car and he was waiting to turn across my lane. And then as I got there, he turned into me. Oh. And my leg kind of got scissored off, basically, through the knee. So, oh. But I didn't know that at the time. Uh, it didn't hurt. I was trying to avoid crashing into the people who were waiting to cross the road. Slid down the road, bike crashed. So now we have to find the car park. <laughs> yeah, and that's when I noticed there's lots of blood spurting out. Uh, it's hard to be graphic, but yeah, and it went from there, so I got carted off to hospital. I mean, it was literally like an, uh, an instant on site. Yeah, so it's traumatic amputation. Amputation, the yeah. There's the needles down there. Yeah, I can see that, yeah, yeah. Out the one. Oh, it's just... Well, I can park up there and look disabled. Do you have a badge? Do you have a blue badge? <laughs> no. I can't believe no, that. I don't. He wouldn't even use the lift on the ferry. Look, he will not use the lift. He won't do it. He's such a stubborn bugger. It's because I want to go off road, look. And he wouldn't use a disabled toilets either. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I had to stand there and wait. Wait for him to finish at the urinal before I could use it. So you got your own toilets. Bugger off. Anyway, sorry. Yeah, so the, the doctor, is a, he's a voluntary doctor, and he came whizzing up the road in his car, and he had saline and stuff, which plumbed into me, which kind of probably, why well, I'm still here. And then the ambulance came, cut me off to hospital, and next thing I remember was waking up in there, no leg, but I was still here. Was so that was 30, doing the maths in my head, 34 years ago. And ever since, you've pretty much let it um, dictate your life and, and stop you doing anything that you wanted to do, haven't you? I was saying tongue-in-cheek there, folks. Hang on. I was trying to be funny and failing miserably. <laughs> Literally, like, Martin is the guy that got me to go along to the, the wheelie school. Um, <laughs> he wants to come off-roading with me. Just, he does not let this get in the way of him in the slightest, so I was trying to be no. funny. But he does have a really good story. There's loads more to it in the, in the brew time uh, chat, and we'll cover more of it later today. But for now, we're going to go and have a look at the needles. <laughs> I know it doesn't look it, folks, but it's actually pretty windy. That tiny little drone, wow, that's incredible that it's coped so well. Right, we both need a pee now. That's the, uh, the 50 plus, oh, you're, you're not 50 plus though. You just matured early. I have, oh, I've done all before my time, as my wife tells me. So <laughs> come up, one, two, three. Right. Are we off-roading? Oh my God, we've we got to stand up. Oh, if you off-road, it's a uh, law. It's mandatory, it? got to put it put it into uh, enduro. Sam B bikes would say yes to stand up. <laughs> No, off-roading. I'm standing up. Well, I've got to stand up. I'm wearing rock on a GS. I've got to stand up. I, I'm proper hardcore. I'm doing it in Dynamic Pro. Right, where next? Where are we going now, Dad? Uh, the next one is, and I should really load the route, we're going to the TT course next, I think. Oh, mega. And a P-stop somewhere. Yeah. Right, folks, that was a bit of a quest. If you come to the Isle of Wight, and you're looking for public convenience, don't. <laughs> Everywhere's shut. It's like being in Scotland all over again. I don't know where we are. Freshwater Bay. We've had to come to Freshwater Bay, which conveniently is the start of the um, sort of military road, the, TT, the proposed TT Ish. circuit. Ish, kind of. So uh, we're here. But we found a couple of portaloos next to a building site. We used them. But anyway, we'll be back on the road shortly. Right, what I'll do, folks, is I will put up on the screen now the Kalimoto uh, planned route for the proposed TT circuit here in the Isle of Wight. You're all right. And then if you have a look at the vid description, I'll put a link there where you can download it. I think I can do that. I'm pretty sure I can do that. 
if I can I will, if I can't I won't obviously. Anyway, so this, this is Military Road, which right. runs along, is this the south coast of the island? This is, yeah, yeah, yeah. so uh, we're, we're starting to go around the bottom now. Gotcha, because over there to your right is France, nationals. but you can't, nationals, but you can't actually see France at the moment. Do you know what way they would go? What's the proposed direction? Is it this way or the other way? I don't know. Because we just come back this way, folks, and the view going that way is beautiful. Mind you, I suppose you don't really want a, a nice view when you're riding a bike <laughs> to uh, super bike speeds. Now, anyone moaning about that, our division all the way across, so don't worry. Yeah. Eight eighteen in your video. Oh, beautiful. What's the total distance, mate, of the whole route? Eleven miles, something like that, maybe a bit more. Oh, with the whole thing. All oh, right, okay. I mean, I imagine that it's not like the TT where it's thirty odds. I mean, how far to the northwest? Um, not far, I think. I think like northwest yeah. is sub 15 mile, I think. Yeah, so it's probably similar to that. That is up there, isn't there some posh building? Oh wow, yeah, there is, isn't there? I think Churchill had places. Chisel Pottery Calf, it looks like that. No, it's not, yeah, that's not a cafe. Bruce. That's not a calf. That's a heck of a calf if it is. <laughs> you probably still can't use the toilets. Oh, it's a nice stretch of road to ride this, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I'm hoping this new mic is working. That's going to be devastating if this mic isn't working. Yeah. I tested I mean, I it. You, I tested it last night in the office, and it was all working fine. So we're just coming up to the start now, or a point on the loop. Gotcha. So if we come back in on this junction. So we'll come back in this way. We're now on the route and it says 30 miles on my caddy motor. Oh, so was that not part of the route then? The no, route? we were just getting we were just getting to it from ah, where we were. Okay, sorry folks. I sold you a, a dummy there then. What we've just done isn't part of the route. No, then, we're on it this now. is now. Nationals! There is some bends in this, but I can imagine I don't know what sort of bikes would be doing it. Yeah, you don't want it too twisty, do you? Because the, <laughs> the, the bikes are going to be at mega speeds. See, look, look at this straight here. Oh, wow. We're going to go left in three miles. Left in three miles. All received. Wow. wonder how many people that catches out. <laughs> <laughs> it's like being up in the fence. Just loads, yeah. loads of straight roads and then all of a sudden a right oh. angle corner. <laughs> oh, or down, down Rye or Camden Sand. Yeah, 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 yeah. Temporary lights. It's alright, you're not on your IAM assessment yet. Yeah, just letting you know, because I, you know... Letting me know. Norm normally in your videos someone gets rear-ended, and I'm not talking the other ones. <laughs> That's a different channel. <laughs> I see everything. I see everything. They call me Mystic Mug. Oh, that's new. Bang. Oh, I'm breaking, breaking, breaking. <laughs> so we're going left here. Lefting, leftings. Still recording at the moment. Probably gonna have to change batteries after this, mate. So if I stop when we get to the end, then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we just do one lap up. and then. Yeah, yeah. Change after batteries. After this, we are winging it after this. We're just. All received. To be fair, we can quite happily wing it in the Isle of Wight, can't we? Oh, that's a lovely big house. Camera, but my I've got Mavic Air 2 lighting it because yeah. I don't jazz people off with a the air or two that I had. Yeah. Because I, I find sync them up one, two, three. Yes, I know you've done this bit before. Sorry folks, batteries ran out in this, so 
Looking at the footage, I think this church up here is where it ran out. I think I was wittering on about this new drone, something like that. Now, Martin was confessing something when the cameras were off. <laughs> Come on, Martin, what were you saying? Uh, I was just putting a caveat in about the route. What about the route? You mean well, this, the TT route that you carefully well, you researched? It. <laughs> yes, I did. And then you put it in. But however, I was putting the thing in that I hope this is the actual route. I'm pretty sure it is. However, I don't want all the nerdy Nigels going, oh, and an actual fact you should have gone left at 518 in the video. Uh, yeah, so but you won't get that. I will. I will I get all this. Is. This is supposed to be a video about the Isle of Wight TT circuit, and that's not the Isle of Wight TT yeah. circuit. But as it's actually never happened yet, who knows? How can anyone say it is or is? And if you are moaning about it, how dare you? The man's disabled. Stop picking on him. <laughs> but anyway, we're back on these roads and now in traffic. When the cameras are off, no traffic. It was lovely. I think it's a left up here somewhere, isn't it? It is just before the humpback bridge. <laughs> We'd almost done a lap when I noticed that the camera was off. <laughs> Tell you what, the old handy wandies are a bit warm. Turn it down a level. Oh, left, thanks very much. I am, um, are you watching? Oh, gold standard, he must be. That's Rosper. Oh, is that Rosper? Sorry. Mm. What's I am um, then? Pass or uh, first, which I wouldn't get on this ride. Oh, bored in already. A, I'm bored. In I'm any bored. Way, shape or form, <laughs> I have to say. I oh, had hello, a blow I'm I am, um, I'm Rosper. <laughs> Well, I'm not. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> it was a thing to do to get me out on the bus. I'm only taking the piss. I know. Everyone can benefit from a wee bit of trading. I know. Even if it's just to sharpen up the skills you've already got. Just don't bore me about it. <laughs> Nationals! We're left here. Is your indicator? It's not on, is it? No. I was thinking, no, bloody hell, you can't see your indicator. No, it's because it wasn't on. But you were doing a hand signal, so we're okay. <laughs> Didn't think there was enough time for you to react to the flashing indicator. Plan, Ipska. Sorted, it's fine. Now, this would be fun. <laughs> oh, <laughs> on a super bike. Jeez. Yeah. At their speeds, bloody hell. You'd want a GS, wouldn't you? <laughs> the yeah. tra tractor racing. Be alright until you get to the military road when they just like go. Vroom, 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 vroom. I think this would be a fantastic route to do something like that on. Wow. Oh yeah, when bef I think I think that was after the cameras ran out when I was wittering on about logistics. Yeah. Like, would the island yeah. actually be able to cope with? a big influx of people and then you said well they do actually have the Isle of Wight here and it is a the and it is a popular yeah. holiday destination so I had to shut up and go yeah you're right yeah, yeah, yeah. electric running water yeah <laughs> déjà vu I swear we've been here before. We were just down here, folks, when I realised the battery wasn't working, the camera wasn't working. So we had to go all the way back. <laughs> supposed anyway. to be a professional. I am professional. I noticed that the camera wasn't working. Other people would get home and check the footage and then realise the camera wasn't working. Because that's exactly what I used oh. to do. All right, love. Don't worry about me. Stopping. Stopping now. Stopping. Moving. No shoulder check for him, was there? There was no shoulder check. <laughs> watch him, watch him, I am. <laughs> Nigel, if you're doing the I am thing. Whoever the Nigel is, it's going to be going out with uh, the pirate here. Watch him, watch him. Left here. Lifting, lifting. Like that. Yeah, all the Let's get on the road. There is quite a lot of keek, isn't there? They'd have to sweep that up before the race. Yeah, I would think they might have to do something about that. Whoa, that's a good smell. Whew. Sorry. <laughs> the excitement got too much for you. 
Limer Stone. Yeah, how many people would end up in that wee cottage if, <laughs> if this did become a circuit? What are you thinking so far then, mate? Do you mean in general or about the TT circuit? Uh, about the circuit in particular. I don't know, I think if it ever did go ahead, it would be a cracking little thing. be the nearest one to me, so I'd come and watch it. I, th I think it would be a real success. I really do. I think there'd be a lot of appetite for it. From obviously from the racers, from non-racing people, then yeah. The, yeah, it's going to be abhorrent, isn't it? The, and I, I, don't, I, yeah, I can imagine it would be. Imagine the races, the noise, the, the noise, the, bikes. the people, the crowds, and then obviously there'd be the pushback from all the casualties as well that there's bound to be. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And then you're going to have all the public that will come here to ride when they can ride. And the you know the warriors that yeah. will try and race it and inevitably crash and going left. Uh, gotcha. left, left so I left. really don't think it will happen, but it would be pretty amazing if it did. Is this still part of the circuit? <laughs> Silent, um, non-committal, very non-committal. There is a waypoint, right? So this was I put a waypoint in, so it must be. And knew, it did go through the centre of... I knew I should have done this bit. Right, yeah, you? <laughs> like, oh, he bet, he bet! <laughs> yes! He is the most chilled out person you'll ever meet in your life. And he definitely bet there. Because he has done everything. He even had to tell me what time to meet him this morning. Give me a route to get from my house to the meeting point. I did, I did. He bought my ticket for the ferries. He's done I did everything. Do that. Everything. <laughs> Uh, I'm a very busy man. <laughs> and now we're back to the main road, which is where we came in. Gotcha, so. right, okay. I think that would be a great circuit. As a rider, there is loads to think about and keep you occupied, isn't there? Oh, yeah. Even just uh, as a street rider. And you've got a real mix of uh, the long straights, yep. this bit of it. Yep. <laughs> And even these have like good corners. Yeah. Um, then you got that sort of yeah, so quite bit. agricultural bits through the back there, isn't there? And yeah. Right. Let's go and do a bit more exploring. Think about one, two, three. We we just stopped somewhere, folks, at what was our viewpoint apparently, and took some pictures. It was all right. And then you come over that crest there, and it's even better, isn't it? <laughs> But still, at least we saw France, didn't we? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Apparently so, Bruce. Uh, I'm, I'm so glad the cameras weren't on, folks. I was standing there telling Martin, that, yeah, that's France over there, look, that's France. And then when I zoomed out on the map, it was Bournemouth. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Nice lad. Thick as... The actual viewpoint was a walk up to the top of the hill. Which we don't do walks. Be, uh, nah, well, I do, but you don't. But. How far did you walk? That's oh, my egg snorping. Uh, that was... It was 40k over two days. Jesus. I, all my training was on tarmac. <laughs> so when I got there, we were going up hills like this. <laughs> and, uh, and stony, tiny paths that goats would be happy on and all this sort of stuff. Was, now, you've got some fancy leg, haven't you? Yes. Some, uh, some a, table tennis leg. <laughs> it does have a table tennis mode. <laughs> so it's a, it's a sea leg. As in the letter C, not right. pirate C. Gotcha. A lot of people think a pirate's favourite letter is R, but it's not. It's a C. Wow. <laughs> it's got. It's, uh, it's called a microprocessor. Me. It has a battery, an IMU in it, so it knows which way up it is. Oh, is, is it got lean angle? Lean angle sensitive IMU. Yes, it has. Oh, I see. And, so, and it can tell whether it's going forwards or back. Yeah, I'm, I should have. I didn't. Yeah, you hesitated. Um, there's a big straight now. Come on, tell no. me all about your leg. Because it has an IMU and it knows how fast it's walking, what sort of whether it's going forwards, what sort of angles you're doing, it can adjust itself. A bit like uh, your electronic suspension. And it has little stepper motors that alter the fuel, the fuel, the flow rate of the oil. Yeah. That's what my leg does all the time. So if I 
want to walk fast, it knows. It calculates, obviously, because it's going forwards and backwards at a faster rate, it will back off the oil so then it, you don't have to wait for it. So the speed is always correct. Whereas my older leg was just hydraulic. And whilst you could adjust, you would think of as compression and rebound, which is really flexion and yeah. extension, uh, you only get one speed. So sometimes I'd want to walk fast and I'd have to wait for my leg to catch up, if that makes sense. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you do like one quick step and then your my artificial leg would do a slower step. So it kind of it, it exaggerated the sniper's nightmare walk. <laughs> <laughs> sniper's nightmare. Brilliant. I love that. As soon as I got my IMU one, it was it was like worlds apart. You can't I can't describe it wow. straight away. Since I've had it, which is three years, I haven't fallen over. <laughs> Good thing. <laughs> and I suppose it's it's something that you know as as you know better than most any of us could be faced with. Yeah, exactly. You know, almost at like the roll the, of a dice. Yeah. Oh, wow, look at this. So this is Fent now, I believe. I guess it could be Centra Pay, couldn't it? Oh, yeah, 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 just like that, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sure I'd have, I'd have full rocket on with the heated grips. Yeah. <laughs> Look, there's palm trees there, I don't know what you're f***ing moaning about. Right? <laughs> Just like Santa Fe. Where's the super yachts? Uh, there's one down there, look. <laughs> no. <laughs> Cafe type thing. Oh, we're going for some splosh. Do you think you find one? Happy days, let's do it. He's, look, folks, he's adamant. He's adamant this is like Saint Tropez. It's not bad, I've got to admit, it's pretty beautiful. Look at the sun glistening off the sea. I know, yeah. Beach bodies. <laughs> Underneath, I've got the beach body ready for 2028. <laughs> well, folks, if you're in the Isle of Wight and you're down the bottom, slip into Tony. Slip into Tony's. Tony's tea room. Lovely. Very nice coffee and lovely cake. Oh, the cake was nice. White chocolate caramel slice. And a bit of tiffin. I do like a bit of tiffin. I know you'll find that hard to believe, but I'm actually partial to a little bit of cake every now and then. Right, what's the story now? Where are we going, folks? Well, having been thinking that we were hours and hours and hours ahead, with loads of time, we suddenly realised <laughs> we might actually miss the boat. So, um, Ow. we've got about 40 odd minutes, maybe an hour. So we're just going to um, head up the sort of eastern edge of the island up to where, where do we need to go to get the ferry i always get this wrong no I even way, say not fish, you hard as that may sound it's either fish spawn or fish guard okay isn't fish guard in wales i think there is yeah well you say that we gotta get out of here yeah it'll be quite amusing if we get lost on the isle of Wight. oh don't do that oops <laughs> <laughs> Do you need to uh, work out a route on the map? No, you're winging it. Because obviously... What could go wrong? Right, we'll see you in a bit, folks, when we're looking for a hotel because we missed the last ferry. See you soon. <laughs> I've dragged that blooming light lock thing all the way here. I've not done anything with it, have I? Nothing. Dragged it on the back there and I've not done anything. I meant to do pictures and some content. Sorry, light lock. Folks, I do have the light lock, I've got the core, and I've got that D-lock thing. I will do some content on it, and I'm going to do something with a spare D-locky one. I'll open it up to anybody that wants to come and try and cut one open, because I've got one specifically for that. Knowing me, that will probably be next year that we'll get around to doing that. If you're lucky. Now, I don't, look, do you agree with me, people? Look at the way, see the flags? Look, the flags are going that way, right? The wind is blowing this way. But look at that sailboat. Okay, it's, it's not tacking. It's not moving now. But he yeah, was exactly. See, he was going that way. You, how does that now work? he's starting to get going because he's going at 45 degrees to the wind. That's how tacking works. Well, he's not. He's going that way now. But, but yeah, a second ago he, he was stonking out that yeah. way. I don't understand this. This I no. It's not. So right. now he's trying to tack again, isn't he? And now he's moving. See. Oh. He's not. He's not. He's not doing anything. There we go. See. Look, that's not right. <sighs> 
That is not right. How does that work? Don't bother telling me in the comments, I really don't care. But it's just, <laughs> it's just weird to watch. <laughs> anyway, we're nearly on the boat. Um, we've not done anywhere near what we planned to do. So I hope you've enjoyed the little bit that we did do. It is driving me insane that on Cali Moto we've not joined yeah, up the line. And we're not joined up. We've not gone all the way around. And that, that, I'm going to have to come back. So I'm going to have to spend another 800 quid on a ferry to get back over here. <laughs> Folks, hope you've enjoyed this one. Hope you've enjoyed living, uh, listening to that idiot. Check out the podcast with him. I'll leave some links down below if you want to hear more. And uh, folks, keep doing your thing. Get on out there whenever you can. But most importantly, most importantly, live Do your, your life. life. Cheers, Martin. Thanks for your company. Easy to